when you're making a turn, uh, a round turn, the actual pitch of the slope changes through the turn. Mm -hmm. Um, so at the end of a turn, when you're skiing across the hill, zero, like say a 40, a 40 degree pitch is still 40 degrees, but your body oriented sideways to that doesn't really have to adjust fore and aft when it's standing on the skis. But when you stand with your skis pointing down the hill and, and the tip goes down to that 40 degree angle and the tail is up. So, so the, so you like that, your body must adjust fore and aft. Just like if you run down a hill, a 40 degree hill, you'll really have to adjust your body. But when you run across the slope, you only have to adjust laterally really your balance much. The fore and after the same as running along the, along the flat. So it's changing. And so every moment on that turn, depending on where you are, the relative slope angle is different. So as you start a turn, it gets steeper until if we're on that 40 degree pitch, your fore and aft bounce must be matched to the 40 degree angle. But then when you come out of that turn, as soon as you are coming out of the fall line, that pitch is getting flatter. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to adjust your balance just like you would when you run on the flat versus running downhill. So then your pressure from your body and the forces in the turn come through the ski where it should. So it grips. So when people stay forward all the time, the end of the turn, if you're staying forward as the slope is getting flatter, the tail will wash out. And so it doesn't matter if you have a lot of edge angle or whatever, the, the tail has no pressure. It'll spin around a fulcrum point that is, or a pivot point that is gripped further up on the ski. And yeah, so if you don't think about adjusting your fore and aft dynamically, the ski just won't work and you'll find steeps are always challenging. And especially when there's firm snow on steeps because the tail spins away and back to my point about your platform. So you're trying to stand on something that's moving away from you. Your body position cannot you, no matter how strong you are, it doesn't matter how strong you are. It'll, it'll just wash out on you. So that video, I tried to explain that and, and show that the feeling is you need to actually feel your heel when you come out of the fall line and you start going across the hill and don't be afraid of that. You're not, you're not back seat. You're just adjusting to the changing uh, slope, angle, and forces that are that are present. That's that's really it.